Hello guys, we are still talking about the aftermath of uh, February 25 election. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on your location at this time of today. All right, guys, let me use this opportunity and wish you guys a happy weekend. It's a beautiful Friday morning. All right, so what do I have for you today? I'm coming all the way from River State as Labour Party uh, headquarter, or should I say office or secretariat, uh, sealed. I'm going to share a video for you guys to find out uh, the reason. Now, let me uh, give you a breakdown of what actually happened. Now, remember in River State, the um, Labour Party, um, due to anti-party activity, man, this is when people say um, politics is a dirty game. So, Labour Party in River State, according to them, collapsed their structure to support, um, I think, PDP in River State. And then the, um, after then, the national chairman of Labour Party had to collapse the ex-schools in River State and then the, um, appoint um, Hilliard uh, Dokubo, yeah, Hilliard Dokubo as um, the person in charge for like a month, okay, somebody to be in charge of the ex school or the activity of Labour Party in River State for a month. That is Hilliard uh, Dokubo, if I'm not uh, mistaken. All right, so um, after then... Um, the next action, well, this is what I'm about to share with you, uh, Labour Party office being the, uh, sealed, the secretary had been sealed in River State. So without wasting much of your time, uh, let me allow you to listen to uh, the youth uh, director, or should I say the director of youth affair of Labour Party uh, in River State. The reason why uh, the secretariat in River State was sealed just as you have seen on your screen without wasting much of your time if you have anything to contribute after listening to uh the director you'd have and the uh, mobilization labor party let me know what you guys think on the comment section below we are aware that this anti-party was ongoing but we needed to be very sure because most times in a way of trying to get accuracy there must be investigation though our investigation was still on before the display of stupid and cowardness. Ime Ambe, who is also a rights activist, is confident that the current crisis notwithstanding, the party's governorship candidate, comrade Beatrice Tubo, will be victorious at the poll. It's quite unfortunate that the same candidate that the people failed and those gladiators, political gladiators in River State, failed was not important. It's the same candidate that they are all being afraid of today. Now, all this whole thing, bringing Fafat and Princeway, saying that British Tutubo has stepped down for all this, saying that uh, British Tutubo is not capable to contest for this, all of this was to distract the electorate or the people of River State that has believed in Labour Party to be uh, distracted. Pressurize them. You don't need to force them. They have chosen somebody that will, if they have been doing well, this is the time to now judge whether they have been doing well or not. They have been winning. But the question is, have they been serving the people or the people have been serving them? Now it's a time for us, they have decided and chosen and seen a, the, 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 the person that they have looked at as the person who is going to lead them, not being an emperor to them, not forcing them. Some, a leader is a leader who shows this. But the woman we, we don't tell us, say, Ingo employ, Ingo make us well, Ingo make us pride, empower women. When people, they work, you go buy something for market, thought Ingo move. But this one, market, no, they move. Money they hide them upon that they threaten our life. As he said, only you get the state. Now follow women I come out now. One more now vote for her, make sure win. If he enter there, he no do well. Four years more now come out. He go come out, give him a chance, another person enter. But for now, more now first try him. May we try and know how 